a over c plus b over c is equal to a plus b over c and a over c minus b over c is equal to a minus b over c for example one we're going to add the numerators 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 because the denominators are the same 3 sine t plus 1 for example 2 the denominators are the same cotangent alpha plus 5 we're just gonna add the numerators cotangent alpha plus 3 cotangent alpha 4 cotangent alpha and 3 minus 4 is negative 1 for 3 the denominators are the same secant squared a minus 1 so we're going to subtract the numerators 2 secant a minus open parenthesis secant a plus 1 which is really 2 secant a when we distribute the negative sign over secant a plus 1 minus secant a minus 1 2 secant a minus secant a is equal to secant a so the numerator is secant a minus 1 and the denominator is a difference of a difference of two perfect square secant a minus 1 times secant a plus 1 so the numerator can be considered as secant a minus 1 times 1 we're gonna cancel out secant a minus 1 and our final answer is 1 over secant a plus 1 now the denominators are inverses additive inverses of each other what we can do is if we have negative a over b it's equal to plus a over negative b let's rewrite the expression 2 10 x minus 9 divided by 3 10 x minus 4 plus we will move the negative sign to the denominator minus open parenthesis 4 minus 3 10 x and we'll keep the numerator the same 5 10 x minus 12. now when we distribute the negative sign over 4 minus 3 10x we get negative 4 plus 3 10x which is the same as 3 10x minus 4 now the denominators are the same right 3 10x minus 4 we can combine the numerators we can add the numerators 2 10 x plus 5 10 x 7 10 x negative 9 plus negative 12 negative 21 and the denominator is 3 10 x minus 4 We have a similar situation for example 2 and we know for a fact that negative 1 over negative 1 is positive 1. Therefore, we're going to multiply numerator by negative 1 and denominator by negative 1. Negative 1 times negative cosine theta plus 1 negative 1 times cosine square theta plus 3 cosine theta 
minus 2. We keep the second expression the same. Cosine squared theta minus cosine theta plus 6 divided by cosine theta minus 1. Now, negative 1 times cosine squared theta, negative cosine squared theta, negative 1 times 3 cosine theta, negative 3 cosine theta, negative 1 times negative 2, positive 2. Negative 1 times negative cosine theta plus 1 will be cosine theta minus 1. Plus, we keep the second expression the same. Now notice that cosine theta minus 1 and cosine theta minus 1 are the same. So we have a common denominator. We can just combine the numerators. Negative cosine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is 0. They cancel each other. Negative 3 plus negative 4, negative 7. Negative 7 cosine theta and 2 plus 6, 8.